I wasn't gonna say nothing about this, but I got to. I'm sure y'all heard the news that the rapper Fulio has left this realm on his birthday. And if y'all hear me talking about something like this, just know it's deeper than rap. So we all heard the phrase, money is power, right? But are you thinking about it in the correct way? As in power, being energy. Notice this ring he has on that I spoke about and exposed in the past. These artists that do have them will usually wear it most of the time, no matter how much jewelry they have. Also, these artists tend to be independent. So let's see who he's signed to. First, Deeper Than Sound and KSK, which are smaller companies. Then the most recent, Create Music Group, formerly known as Create TV, is an independent American music distribution. Found in 2015. To keep it simple, it's a company that helps independent artists, giving them more freedom and ownership. I'm going to attach a video I made in 2002 when I was speaking on Tory Lane's situation, which Deeper explains this situation also. But first, I want y'all to think about this. So he was kicked out of his Airbnb. Think about who kicked him out. Most likely, the police, right? Think about how his location was found that fast in between the time he got kicked out the Airbnb, wherever that was. Who do you think had the technology and the manpower to cover large areas? Most likely law enforcement and the GOV. What nigga from the hood you know can pull off an assassination of four people that's probably armed in public and get away? And remember, it wasn't a robbery. So just think about who actually did it. Most likely them boys did it. Y'all know exactly who I'm talking about. Because it ain't no way. And they ever, quote unquote, catch the suspects. Who's to say it's not one of their agents just playing a role and never end up serving one day behind on bars? All I'm saying, a lot of these artists ending scenes just don't seem right to me. Anyways, watch the video I attached to the end of this. Yo, y'all already know I gotta say something about this Tory Lane situation. Y'all gotta stick with me on this one, it's about to get deep. Sometimes I talk about this rap game because it really exposes the overall dirty game of corporations, the straw man, and these contracts. So check it, as y'all can see, he's born in Canada, so he's not even American, meaning he avoided the American straw man. As y'all can see, he started his own record label back in 2014, and he released his first single as an independent artist in 2020. Also note that he owns all his masters, publishing, and royalties. Megan's getting arrested and da 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 Two days after that, I get a call from Rock Nation that says, yo, we heard you're going to make a statement about what happened, and it'd be in your best interest if you don't make that statement. So I'm like, oh, okay, I don't understand what the issue is. So this is where I'm about to start talking about some jury and some hidden symbols that I'm going to say is quote-unquote conspiracies. So you see Jay got a seven star, five percenter chain on. Cause this represents the seven planets that took over Earth and the five percent of us people, gods, that decided to join them. Just like I told y'all before, that red vector symbol is a seven. Just like the seven candlesticks on the Statue of Liberty represents the seven planets that took over Earth. So let's go back to Tory Lanez. I'm sure y'all may or may not be familiar with the star he has. Now the way a lot of these music artists just been having unfortunate endings. So let's start with Young Dolph. His last album was literally called Rich Slave. There was a song called Talking To My Scale. He literally said, if I sacrifice myself, will I still go to hell? I liked him because he always spit the truth because he was independent. So like I was explaining before, they're trying to get their energy back. And a lot of these artists have it all, especially if they own anything that they actually make. So they gotta make sacrificial decisions, like literally to make oaths for these entities to buy them here. Then you got P and B Rock. These are usually the two stars that you see that people have. He was also independent. Him and Young Dolph both work with Empire Records. Now right here, we got Young Thug that decided to take a different route. He is independent, but he's also still stuck in contracts. So we have Lil' Key who was signed under YSL, which is Young Thug's label. So as y'all can see, Young Thug found this in 2016, which is designed similarly to 300 Entertainment. The issue is they are not contractually signed, so they have a lot of energy that they do not control. This is why they're in court. So Young Thug is still trapped under 300 Entertainment, while his crew isn't. 300 Entertainment basically Warner Music Group old executives. Also note that Migos signed with them too. So the biggest issue here is they sold right back to Warner's Music Group in 2021. And that name came from Warner Von Braun, the head of NASA, the ones that helped take over. Back to the Migos. So y'all know Takeoff isn't here. But we also consider Offset the group leader, right? So maybe he was in charge of that decision. Then we got King Von. He signed with OTL created by Little Dirk. But once again, the same problem. Little Dirk is stuck in other contract while he's free. So they can't control his energy. And also note he over Empire Records too. 